Welcome back to the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke 23, today verse 47. Jesus just died on the cross in our study yesterday morning. Let's look at this one verse next. So when the centurion saw what had happened, he glorified God, saying, Certainly this was a righteous man. Now this, uh, we see this in the other th three Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, that when Jesus dies, uh, the, and especially it's prominent in Mark, the centurion, the soldier, he's leading a hundred other soldiers. They're there. They're charged with carrying out the execution. And so he is making sure it all happens. And he has been watching. He's been watching all through the experience. He's heard what Jesus said. Father, forgive them. They do not know what they're doing. He heard perhaps the discussions among them on the cross. He's been watching the face of Jesus. He's looked at how Jesus has reacted to all the insults and, and mocking, all the sneering leaders. And as finally he pronounces at the end of this, this person that we just killed here, he was righteous. And that, and he's a pagan, he's not even a Christian, he's not a, a practicing Jew, he's not a Christian, at least up to that point, he's not. But he looks at this whole thing and he, he gives us his evaluation. This, this, who, he who died on the cross is righteous. And I believe he's right. I believe this pagan, unbelieving kind of person looks at everything that happens, and I think that he had a sense of what was right and what was wrong, and his, his pronouncement about Jesus is correct. This was a right person who died. He was executed mercilessly, and he was not guilty, but there he is, dead now, hanging from the cross. And perhaps this man turned and became a Christian. We, we don't really for sure know. One day we will know if we're in the kingdom. Maybe one day you'll Someone will come up behind you and tap you on the shoulder and said, hey, can I talk to you for a minute? I was there. I was the centurion that said this. Maybe we'll meet a man like that someday. Friend, may you and I pull out every stop to make sure that you and I are there to see and greet Jesus and his friends, maybe even like this centurion who saw and knew a right person when he saw it. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, there's many experiences ahead for everyone who's, who's viewing this little devotional thought. May we have good experiences in the kingdom. And on the way to the kingdom, Lord, bless us. Show us how to be right every day. Show us how to follow Jesus every day. And may different hearts be touched along the path to the kingdom. Bless us, we pray. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, may you be guarded by the angels of God throughout this day as you live for Jesus and serve him.